In this video, we would like to show you a general introduction to the user interface for both the management portal and the customer tenant portal in Acronis CyberProtect. When you log into the partner management portal, there are various sections on the screen, and we will start on the left and work our way over. On the left, you will see the different tabs and menus. Clicking on these will give you different options that would show up on the right side of the screen. You can see where I have the word cyber protection. If you had different services, such as file sync and share and notary, you would be able to switch between the services that you have for your account. You could see where the names are, such as backup client and cyber demo one. This is a list of the tenants, the status that they have, seven day history, and if you wanted, you can click on these clients and do different things such as go to it directly or configure the services for that particular client. If you wanted to see more columns, you could hit this cog wheel and select other columns. Above that, you will see the new button where you can add new such as if you wanted to add a partner, folder, customer, or another user, the search button, the help menu, and different account settings for yourself. If you wanted to go to a particular client from the partner console in settings, you have to make sure that you have it set up that you've given access to be able to go from the partner down to the tenant. So here you see support access that allows administrators from the parent tenant to manage the tenant. So let's switch gears and we'll go to the client itself and show you what's in that tab. When you're in the tenant tab here, again, on the left, you will have the main menus. And depending on what you choose in the menu, different things will show up on the screen. For example, if I go to devices and I have all my devices and I select the machine, you will notice that I have different options available to me depending on how I have things set up. And these are the actions for that particular selected machine. Again, you can hit add to add more devices. You can have different views. For the help file, you'll see that we also have for our voice control or video tutorials now, in addition to our documentation. And you can also change your account settings. We have a search box here as well, if you wanted to search for different things. And as you go through here, you will notice that everything changes. So depending on what you hit here in the main menus, you will have in the middle different things that you could select. And on the right, depending on what you selected, will give you various actions available for a machine. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.